All right, guys, so we're over here at the Winger Blades booth this year. We uh, kind of partnered with, with uh, Dave. We kind of got a co-booth with them. So um, Dave's a good friend. We've been friends for a long time, a few years now. And he's also the guy that makes the uh, Tusk Karambits, which uh, he does a fantastic job on. And they're, pe people love them. I mean, we can't, we can't make them fast enough. So anyhow, uh, Dave, tell us a little about what you got going on uh, this uh, week oh, yeah. at Blade Show. Well, new, new this, this uh, week at Blade Show is uh, I started making tracker knives. Um, these become real popular for me. It's a full-size tracker, and it comes in a tracker senior and a tracker junior. Uh, so these are new at Blade Show and uh, are already on back order and backlog for, for, the, for the bigger version. Uh, here's a kind of a crowd pleaser for Blade Show. This is based off the Soviet Spetsnaz tool, the entrenching tool. We uh, took the communism and the, the suppression, the repression out and added a whole bunch of freedom and uh, made some improvements on the original design, put a better handle on it. Uh, you know, put different saw teeth and whatnot, but uh, this is a very purpose-driven kind of a pack carry or vehicle carry uh, tool that uh, could replace an axe. Uh, it could be run with a small knife as a companion uh, and would do all the uh, the crafts and all the, the, the bushcraft or survival type of chores that you had in mind. Uh, so what, that's new, I believe. What's, the ty what's this, uh, is this called a RASP style? Yeah, it's a RASP style yeah. saw. It's, it's uh, less aggressive than some of the saw teeth that you see out there. Uh, but it's it, it's very adequate for carving notches and, and whatnot and relief in wood, uh, without without being it won't tear up your sheets or tear yourself up accidentally. So it's uh, it's aggressive enough for what we need to do. Yeah, and also can we talk about this tomahawk right here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's a one off. That's yeah, a one off. Yeah. You would grab that one. No, that's uh <laughs> that's a cool hawk. This is a this is a collaboration with myself and uh, Ben Tendick at BRT Blades. Ben specializes in Japanese style wraps, and he makes a lot of uh, quakens and uh, uh, small short swords and whatnot. And I forged this axe out of, of uh, another model that I had had and uh, sent it over to Ben, and he did his, his Jap wrap on it. Uh, it's epoxy soaked. It's a really cool tomahawk, and it actually comes with a uh, companion knife cool. that uh, that he did. So this it's a pretty cool way to showcase you know his work as well as mine and put them together. And, you know, put a little, put a little my Viking flair with his Japanese flair, and this is, these are the offspring. So, well, good deal, Dave. Always uh, appreciate your work, man. You do great stuff, and uh, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, thanks, buddy. What's going on, guys? I'm over here at the Microtech Knives booth with Jason McCoy and Ray Helms. Thanks, you guys, for taking the as time. As always, as thanks always. Thanks for having us. We got a few new products we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about knives and suppressors. So, Jason, go ahead and tell us about the knives. All right, um, guys, as y'all all know, Halo Five. Hold on, real quick. We did. We let me just for the record. We did 1,200 push-ups before we came yes, up here. Yes, yeah. Get yeah. 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 <laughs> The Halo series has been an icon for um, for Microtech for many years. We've got an integrated safety switch this year. We wanted to bring and show you guys. Um, you know, we've had it out for a couple months, but um, basically. Instead of just being a push button anymore, you got a little integrated safety switch so you can just throw this thing in your pocket, ain't got to worry about it going off. Um, we you recharge this thing, depress the button, a couple little M4 style latches down here, lock it back up, she's ready to rock and roll. That's sweet. Um, also, everyone knows we came out with a SOCOM again this year, re released it. And for the show, right before the show, we got the SOCOM Auto and Signature Series DOC coated blade. So this is the first time this has been seen this year. I'm really happy and excited about it. Right before the show, we also came out with the Cypher MK7. And you know, pretty much everybody's familiar with the Cypher that we've been running in um, collaboration with Monero Knives. So this is the MK7, had a little bit different blade shape, tiered chassis in here, gun metal gray. Um, it looks good. Yeah, it's it really looks nice. really good. It's really sexy knife. Kind of like a, a Warncliffe slash my, uh, Tonto Sheep's foot. a little bit. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. yep. She looks Very really unique. good, really good. We run the M390 blade steel on everything we've been doing this year, so really excited about all that. But Nice, very nice. I'm going to pass the mic over to Ray. All right, can you hold this? Absolutely. Ray, come over here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's do it like this. Yeah, I'll need both hands. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so we're really excited to reintroduce. You know, we brought this out last year and kind of showed everyone what it was about. It is the new R-squared K9 suppressor by Microtech Defense Industries. What took us so long to get to market was actually the ATF approval. Uh, it is the first modular suppressor in the world. Now, this is according to ATF, 
with an ATF letter for our modular design. So that's one thing that makes it really unique. What I'm going to do is just go over really quickly some of the features that make us different than everyone else. So we're our initial offering, and these are ready to ship to present Microtech dealers. So if you're already a dealer with Microtech and you've got your FFL and SOT, you'll be able to place an order with us, and we're going to have these in a couple different variations and colors. So we have the full assembly here. It is full titanium, titanium main body, titanium module, titanium end cap. This alone in the dry configuration is going to give you somewhere between 35 decibels to 36 decibel reduction shooting factory 147 grain ammo. So we didn't do any cheater ammo for any of this, trying to use, you know, 165 hush or anything like that. Uh, we do have some stainless on here. We have 17-4 stainless for the rear piston and then also for the rear mount here. Now, that's the full assembly. To make it the K configuration, or the small model, shorter model, you just unscrew it, but we don't lose any baffles. We have four patents pending on this. Um, so yeah, you can shoot it just like that as it is.